Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meat Shield, and welcome back to Attack on Factorio. We're here in Turing Sands, where I do still have a little bit of work that needs doing. I want to bring these assemblers closer down to the tracks, because I feel like they're a little far away, and once all the, uh, the smelting and stuff kind of breaks up, I'm going to be bringing the walls back in, um, so it feels a little bit pointless to have these quite so far out so I'm just gonna break all this up this is just a little bit of an adjustment but don't worry it's gonna be fine so hoover up all the stuff on these belts and we'll start dismantling things oops I think I broke the power that doesn't surprise me I'm always doing that I've just found a hole in the concrete oh dear didn't realize I'd missed that oh well I guess we'll live. We'll fix it all soon. One, two, three, and a one, and a two. Okay, there we go. We've got things back in operation here. Uh, what I also need to do now is I want to sort out some loading for the trains. Because, well, loading for the circuit, because I have a new district planned. And this district is going to rely on uh, the sands for circuit production. So I want to get this set up so that we can start getting this stuff packed away. Here. Yeah. Uh, put a bit of a limit on these. I mean, it's enough capacity to ensure that um, this district is going to keep having stuff to do. But it's not going to be too much to overwhelm it, I think. Nope, that's out of place. And there's a turret in the way there, that's not good. I'm going to have to move you up one. Okay, this is a bit of a messy system at the moment. Uh, I'm going to move you. I'm going to put that there so we can just have a bit of a belt balancer. Because that will make things a little bit easier on us. And then you can go over here. Plug you up like that. And then we just need some power for these inserters. Okay. So we now have some... Uh, loading going on for this station. It's not completely balanced, mainly for the fact that the production here is a little bit of a piffle right now. It's not really doing much. So I'm going to plug you back up there so we can keep getting some copper because that supply is going to run down really fucking quickly otherwise. And now I need another train. Hmm. So I'm going to hop in my car. I'm going to drive back down to Central and grab all the bits that I need. Should probably come back and do something about all this open space, but never mind, we'll we'll get to that in due course. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Train, I'm just coming through, never mind me. Here we go, and... Right where I want to be. Right, I need supplies. How much steel have you got? You've got loads, that's nice, thank you. Uh, I could do with picking up some more ammunition, which is going to drain that steel supply completely. How are things going down here? I'm just going to double check out, mainly for the miners. But they seem like they're doing a good enough job, so we'll leave them to it for now. I also want to pick up some more concrete and stone bricks, so uh, maybe some more of this supply can wind down a bit. And I could maybe grab the rest of these walls, because I'm going to need them for things and stuff that I'm going to be doing. Research is being done, which is good. We're still just trying to power through all of the... Um, kind of the red and green stuff at the moment, so there's not a whole lot that can... I mean, it's, it's good stuff, but I think some of the technologies we're not really going to be able to implement until um, we've got some of the blue science stuff operational. Which isn't, you know, a massive problem. It's all good. Oh, it is fun to drive around chasing the trains. I do enjoy this aspect of Factorio. Always good fun. Right, new train. Boom. Let's make you as green as you can bloody well be, because you're going to be for circuits. And we're not going to need that many, so... Uh, let's just put a limit like that. Always be paying attention to when I put trains down directly in stations. Get loaded with the right fucking thing, mate. Okay, both of the uh, 
cargo wagons are now being filled up with circuits, which is some great stuff. Now, uh, I'm going to grab some coal from here just to fuel the train. Okay, for now, I'm going to leave you there. I'm just going to put in a little bit more of my flooring. And then we're going to move on to doing something new. Okay, flooring all that took a little bit longer than I expected it to, but never mind. At least that train station is looking nice now. Maybe put in some lights as well, because it's something I keep forgetting to do. And I know that nobody's going to be able to see a bloody thing when I go back, when it when this ends up on YouTube. So I'm going to put some lights down. Everybody can see what's going on then. Nobody can complain. Right. Now, I've got this district all nicely set up. I am going to scout out for a new location. Okay, we're going to go and have a look at this location. Do some more research while we're on the way. Uh, uh, beep beep. One thing I like about doing like large scale, like widespread out factories is just getting to travel the distance between them. It's always quite fun. Okay. This looks like it should be a good spot. We can have some on-site smelting for some of the uh, materials that we're going to need and on-site mining as well, because I want stone for this. And what I am planning on building here if anybody has uh, followed me on Facebook, you might have seen a little, quick little sketch that I did uh, where I was laying out uh, some ideas for how to rig assemblers up together to build like all the various different types of inserters. Well, I've expanded on that and I've done myself a sketch of an entire logistics district. This, provided I get it all rigged up and it works properly, is going to build every kind of inserter, every kind of belt, underground belt and splitter, along with all of the basic infrastructure for making rail networks. So, this is going to take a while. This might, I might spend the rest of this episode working on this, so do bear with me. <laughs> we might be here for a while. But I spent a good few hours working on this layout, and I'm really excited to see if it's actually going to work. I know I'm incredibly sad. I even drew up... I didn't have any actual graph paper to hand, so I made some just on plain white paper with a ruler and a pencil. This is the extent of my madness. No, you're in the wrong spot. Okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna have vertical station. And all of the assembly stuff is gonna be on this side. We're gonna have all of the smelting over here on the left. Okay. Time to get started with this motherfucker. Okay, getting on with some more research. Automated construction is handy, because that means we can make blueprints of things. Um, eventually, once we've got our own little construction robots, if we've got the materials, like all of the various different things that we want to lay down on the ground for a blueprint, they'll just do everything for us, which is a really nice little trick. Very handy little mechanic. Okay, basic station layouts in, which is good. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to put all of these miners, smelters, all of the stuff that I want. Oh... I'm already t getting on for 20 minutes into this video. Uh, I could do with going and getting some more supplies from Central though, so let's head over there. That was a wall. I should put gates in. Okay, there we go. And we're on our way in. Nice! Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna have all of the shit that we can pick up from here. That's a lot of gears. I don't think we're going to need so much in the way of copper. We've got a lot of iron. Could maybe do with some more steel. There we go. That'll do nicely. And we're going to need some stone bricks for some steel furnaces as well. Ooh, hello, coal train. How are you doing? You've run out. Cool. Their stone supply is starting to disappear. Right. That's nice. Starting to clear away some more of this copper. Where did I leave my car? Oh, fuck. It's one of those days, I think. Oh, we are having a problem down here with the iron supply. Because I've been... Because I've come back for so many various different supplies, the iron belt is completely running down. Oops. It'll be fine. Things will get done. I don't really care about this little bit of production here in Central anymore. It's... Purely there just to get research done for us. And once all that stuff's done, it's going to get torn down anyway, so... 
I'm not really too bothered about the throughput of the various materials there. I just want to make sure that it's got enough going so that it can do the job that I need it to do. And from there, it will just get phased out. I'm going to start putting in my assemblers, I think. So, let's see. I'm going to start about here, I think. There's going to be lots of belts needed for all this as well, so I'll make sure that I've got enough. I also need splitters and some underground belts. Now, this is the first time that I've ever tried to build something like this that's completely of my own design. I'm really not entirely sure on whether or not this will work once it's all set up. Which is why I'm kind of just excited to get it all done. I am trying to follow this diagram that I've made quite closely. I mean, it's, it's all been designed to scale, so it should work. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're we're going to find out either way. So... We shall see. It's a matter of whether or not I've got enough materials to be able to keep it, you know, to actually build the bloody thing and just get it operational. Ugh. And I'm already out of gears and iron plates. What a fucking shocker! Actually, if I get some of this production set up, then I could potentially just start getting um, my iron plates and gears from the location I'm working on. Oh, uh, hello! Maybe if we head up to the sands, we can go and get some circuits from there. If I keep remembering where I parked my bloody car! It seems like it's going well. The train's not completely... Well, the train was completely full. The, uh, the buffer chests were still kind of fully restocking, but it looks like production over in the sands is going quite nicely. We will upgrade it eventually, because as, as like, this new logistics district gets set up, and uh, we start building more and more districts that are going to rely on... Um, oh, no, car, come back! <laughs> as we start building more districts that are going to rely on a supply of electric cir of, of green circuits, then we will need to start, you know, actually increasing the production. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of gears for all of this, so I'm getting four assemblers all set up. It might be a little bit of overkill, I don't know, but I'm wanting to make sure that this district is going to be remaining functional for as, you know, as, as best it can, because this is going to be, like, whenever I need things like inserters or belts, I can't be asked to craft them. So why not just get them built for me? It makes a lot more sense, and it's a lot more fun. It means I get to go about building more stuff. Which is the whole point of this bloody game, so I'm gonna do it. Fight me, bro. Okay, this might be a bit much. Oh, I'm out of fucking belts. Oh, of course I am. I, th I should be trying to set up belt assembly before everything else, just because that's what I keep running out of. In fact, that's not a bad idea. Let's see if I can try and get this stuff set up. Now, I will admit that this little bit that I'm working on here, the um, this little section here is going to be all for belt assembly. This is a slight adaptation of a design I borrowed off of uh, Bentham. I say borrowed, I mean I watched one of his videos and I thought he did a good job with it, so I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. Um, I have tried to streamline it a little bit more, um, just by trying to figure out where I'm going to put the belts and everything. Um, I think it's almost perfect. Oh god, I'm out of gears again. I go through gears so bloody quickly in this game, it's absolutely ridiculous. Never mind, another bloody drive back to town. I will get this district set up, I'm fucking determined. Try not to run into the train or in, even get run over by it, because that's going to be embarrassing. I don't know what to do about this iron supply. I should probably do something about it, but I, I can't really be bothered right now. I just want to get this new district set up. Because then I've got more places that I can just go and grab basic supplies from. Not to mention, I should maybe just hoover up some of this. That'll do. Right, we are also completely out of green science packs now, so science 
is taking a bit of a break while we're just waiting for all of these other productions to kind of sort themselves out and ooh, there's a little bit of a wavy wobble this district is going to be a lot bigger than I expected it I don't quite know how big I was expecting it to be um, only problem I can see is going to be having with this will be when we come around to the production of um, the fastest types of belts uh, the express belts and like some of their derivatives like the, the splitter and the underground stuff uh, I can't remember which ones use... I haven't got them unlocked on here yet. Um, some of them use uh, lubricant, which you get from uh, the kind of... The, the oil production type stuff. And at the moment, you'd, there's no way to transport that stuff without using, like, piping. Um, things like... stuff like crude oil, on its own, you can put into barrels and transport it via train. But at the moment there's nothing like that for the other types of um, oil product, which is a little frustrating because it would be like, I mean it's just another liquid, so why can't it be barreled up as well? I'm hoping that that's something they're going to be addressing in future updates, um, be it with um, like either the ability to barrel up other other types of uh, oil fractions or if you're able to do something like you know have an oil tanker for the train with you know like a different type of cargo wagon which people have done with mods and you know good on them I'm not someone who mods their games really um, I've always been interested in trying out mods but I for the purposes of this series I'm gonna be leaving things completely bog standard basic vanilla whatever the fuck and we're just gonna see what we do with like you know, kind of we're just gonna see how we go with the basic game that's what I'm trying to say ah oh this is looking all very messy and spaghetti like I'm kind of liking it though it looks like it's going to do the job I'm out of gears again not much of a surprise to me oh right where was that yeah that's up in the sands okay I'm going to take a quick break from all this because we're being assaulted up on up on the west side of Turing Sands. I just want to go and make sure that everything's okay up there. See how the guns are doing. Give them a little bit of extra ammo if needed. I imagine everything's okay. I'm not expecting these um, initial assaults to be too tough. Plus, we've got defensive walls. We've got guns in place, and they're all decked out with uh, like piercing ammo rounds. So. Yeah, one of them's gone through, like, a couple of clips. That's nothing. So I'm, I am going to chuck in an extra turret just to be safe. Because it never hurts to make sure that you've got some extra defense. I say that and we get attacked down in central. God's sake. It is going to be fun to have all these ridiculously long train journeys getting to and from places. Right. Okay, um... How many furnaces do I think I'm going to need for this? Probably quite a lot. Probably going to need a bit more than five. Need more steel. Ugh. All this stuff is driving me insane. Oh, the iron's just starting to get back down here and I'm going to have to tear it all up off the fucking belt again by stealing stuff. I feel bad. But I'm sorry, I need all of this stuff. Ow! Okay. That was a bit of a silly maneuver. Could have completely destroyed that. Okay. I've made all of the smelters that I possibly can. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I need to make more bloody belts, don't I? Yes, of course I fucking do. <clears throat> oh, this is taking a while. I want to get the power brought over, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure on where the power is going to be coming through from, so I'm just going to drag these lines over to central, and we'll kind of rearrange them as we need to, because I, I, I'm at about 45 minutes of recording now, and I want to make sure that I get this district operational to feel like I've actually done something today. <laughs> there we go. 
Right, power is now over that away ish So we'll mosey on back over. Provided we can actually see where the fuck we're going. So a light. Thank you. Lighting the way. I don't want two of them. It's a bit much. What do you think? There we go. We've actually got some lights down. We can see what we're doing. Isn't that nice? I think so. Again, we need more iron plates and gears. In order to make more sodding belts. So, back we go. These iron plates are not building up anywhere near as much as I would like them to. So I think I might go and have to steal them from the, uh, the train station, provided there's enough there. Oh, there's fucking loads. Sorry, but I need all this stuff. So the production over at Turing Sands is going to have to sit back and wait a bit. Oh, you've run out as well. Nice. This stone supply really is starting to dwindle. This little stone outcrop is not going to be lasting us much longer. We've got a fair bit of like, production out of it, though, which is very good. Let's see if we can pinch some more gears. We can. That should hopefully tide us over a little. And while we're driving back, I'm going to craft a load of more bloody belts. And we're back. So I'm going to put some extra miners down on this. Just so that we've got a little more in the way of coal supply, so that we can power these um, smelters. That's the one. Getting the right words. Well done, Meat Shield. Well done. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to do to the power supply, so we may end up needing to actually like, improve the power supply after all this is installed. Oh yeah, inserters. I need those, don't I? Hmm, silly twat. I've pretty much used up all of the bloody gears that I went and collected. But never mind, we might have enough stuff now to be able to get all of this operational. Even if it's just a little bit of production, it's going to be better than nothing. Oh shit, I'm going to have to make sure that everything around here is defended as well, because wide open spaces, biters, uh... No, I don't want I don't wanna go harvesting for iron, you moron. Okay, the coal is starting to back up. The iron is in production. Now let's go and see how things are gonna get on over here. And then we'll put down some defenses, even just basic ones to make sure that things are okay, and then we'll go from there. Well, we might wrap it up after this little bit. Just wanna make sure that everything's kind of on the way to being in production. Which is the main thing. But it looks like all of my uh, splitters are working properly. I do still have some more um, of the infrastructure here to lay out, but holy shit, I think it's actually all working. What do you know? Ah, yes, I'm pleased with all this. So once things start to back up a little bit on these belts, uh, there we go, we can see we've already got some stuff uh, going about assembling the uh, the fast level, like the tier 2 transports and logistics stuff. And once we, like, once belts start getting assembled in this, it needs some, a uh, little bit more of a gear supply to come down. But so far, it looks like things are going okay. I'm quite pleased with this. I actually got it all to work. Yay! Oh, there we go. We're finally producing fast transport belts in assemblers. It's only taken me fucking nine episodes to get to this point. Hmm. Iron supply down here looks like it could do with a little bit of improvement. So we'll just... We'll add a little bit more into this, and then I'm going to put some turrets down. It's not much. It's only a few miners, but... It'll be enough to kind of supplement everything a little more. So I can't remember the ratio of um, mining drills to furnaces to get like optimal production out of it, but that seems to have done the trick. We've got a few more that have burst into operation now, so you know, things look like they're going okay. Waiting for turrets to craft, but once they're done, we're going to start plonking them down. I mean, this isn't going to be super well defended right now. Uh, 
I'm just going to cover like some of the important areas. It's not like I don't have enough ammunition to be able to sort all of these bloody turrets out. The belts are building up quite nicely. Uh, but that's mostly because there isn't a whole lot of production going on at the moment. The only thing I'm really concerned with is... Um, like getting fast transport belts. Because I'm going through those like a motherfucker. But we will need to get the train from Turing Sands to pop down here with cargoes you know, cargo wagons full of um, electric circuits so that we can start getting some more stuff done. Um, I'm also going to try and sort out some steel production here and get some of this stone mined so that we can get uh, all of the rail based stuff going. And we'll finish up this district in the next episode by putting in all of the inserter production, surrounding it in walls, uh, giving it a shitload of defences, and then we'll go about naming the damn thing. So, if you have any ideas on what would make a good name for this place, uh, feel free to suggest them as you did, or as I asked for with uh, the Circuit District of Turing Sands. I will take all names into consideration and I will always try to prioritize uh, like suggested names over something of my own creation. I've got a couple of ideas in mind for this. But if somebody comes up with something that I can't refuse, then I'm going to go with that. So feel free to suggest whatever the bloody hell you want. It can be something to do with the scenery around us. It can be something to do with logistics. It can be something to do with the individual parts of logi the, you know, what's actually being built in the network. Whether it's something to do with the belts, whether it's something to do with um, the all of the rail network stuff, or if it's something to do with inserters. I don't know. Go mad. Suggest stuff. I'm likely to enjoy getting to read any comments with regards to um, what's been suggested, and we'll just see where we go. Well, where we're at by the by next week with the next episode. Um, I'm going to take a quick moment just to apologise for things like for the last couple of videos um, coming out late this week. Some shit got in the way, and I was not prepared to like. Have enough, I didn't have enough videos like all done and sorted um, you know life does get in the way and you know it's a bastard sometimes but it's not so bad but hopefully um, that sort of stuff won't happen again you know or it won't happen too regularly I hope uh, I do try to make sure that I'm working on videos in advance and the, I don't have these problems where like if a day comes around where I'm not at home or something I do try to have um, like videos all done and prepared and stuff but uh, you can't always plan for these things but I'll do my best to try and keep things going as regularly as possible I'm trying to maintain my regular schedule and keeping up with all the music stuff uh, there is a new cover in the works and I'm getting close to I'm about half done with it so it should be up within the next couple of weeks which I'm really looking forward to because this one's going to be fun Everybody's going to enjoy this one, I hope. But I'm going to leave this episode off here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more Let's Plays or Metal covers from me, you can check out the playlists that are on the channel and you can follow the links in the description below to follow me on social media. But thank you again for watching this video and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Deal with things a little bit. Come on. Pay attention to me. I'm telling you what to do, goddammit. Oh god, everything, everything's going wrong. Everybody's dying.